it to just, we just well, need to, let's we, give it some space. It, it was, it I'll was, see it, you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. There was a lot in the tick. I'm not sure where I'm going though, because that's definitely not. Go, go. Day two of Geneva Watch Days, second day for Zach Blast in Geneva. Day number two. And uh, we had uh, Elise with us today and she had a great time. Then we were sort of cruising around. She taught us a bit French. Merci. Um, merci. <laughs> you know what I love about Geneva? What do you love about Geneva? It's the jet d'eau. The jet d'eau? Yeah. Did I, first of all, did I pronounce that right? Yeah. Jet d'eau. Jet d'eau. Jet d'eau. Oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I am American after all. <laughs> it's okay. How are you coping with the jet lag? I am coping. Look, it's it's an exciting time. It's my first Geneva watch days. Yeah. So just this sort of first sense of adventure in Geneva, in this fair, it's it's my cappuccino, you know? It's, it's getting me going. Your it's keeping cappuccino. me alive. Yeah, yeah, it's my espresso. Sorry, <laughs> you know? <laughs> and then we, uh, GP, I mean, they've got a tuk-tuk. We all got in the tuk-tuk. Yeah. Four men in the tuk-tuk around cheeky little scenic views, some scenic yeah, views yeah. about, which is quite Again, fun. first a time of, in Geneva. A bit of romance, right? a bit of romance yeah. there, was that? I think I had my arm around you for a bit, didn't I? Yes, you did. Oh, you know, just in Geneva, why not? Just have a little cuddle. You've been away from your wife for, for, what, 24 hours now, and you're already trying to hit on Tony's side? You, you can see the wedding ring there, it's on, it's on. <laughs> it's all right. Um, well, we'll, we'll, we'll deep fake it. Um, and then we got to U UN, Ulysses Nadal, yes. which was, which was also yeah. cool. I mean, last year, um, obviously, Ulysses Nadal was, was all about the freak for me, uh, well, for me, but also that was their sort of main novelty. So this year, it was quite nice for that anniversary, actually. It's 175th anniversary, I think it is. Yeah. Um, it was good to see, I don't know, it was... We saw a fun. second facet yeah. of, of the brand. Yeah, exactly so that, yeah. We, we've seen, as you mentioned with the Freak, a very forward-thinking, futuristic yeah. Uh, aesthetic. Yeah. But now it was time for some, some more heritage different pieces. The marine collection, wasn't it? Yes, the yeah. marine collection. Exactly. Inspired by the marine chronometers that Louis Nardin's name has really been built upon. Yeah, no, that was good. So it was good to see. We saw a to to be all. Um, we saw a couple, we saw a moon face. I quite yeah. like that moon, moon face. Moon face, yeah. chronograph. Yeah. Uh, a lot to like. Some, sure, the lot. Some blue enamel, some black enamel. Yeah, and, was... and these are limited editions, so uh, you know, act fast. Yeah, that was nice. And then to round off the day, we went to where did we go to? We went to Urwuk. Yeah, and Mr. Tony Stark. What did we see? Well, we saw the UR110 Electrum. Yeah. Okay, and its case is comprised of a very interesting 18 karat gold. Yeah. And palladium, so it's a mixture of these two very precious metals. Yeah. And the case has a very nice concentric texture around the case. Sure does. Inspired by Greek theaters, mm -hmm. as well as a, a fashion designer that the, the two founders of Urwark uh, really look up to and admire. It does. And, um, and why did I why did I throw to a Tony Stark reference? Well, because Urwark has been known to supply watches for Robert Downey Jr. in the Marvel Avengers movies. AKA yourself. Yes. Yeah. There we go. But you know, what's interesting is, is as, as we know with, with watches and film, yeah. there is an aspect of, of payment mm -hmm. to, to enter these films, but Urwark did not pay a cent for any of these wrist cameos. Just loves the watches. Yeah. Robert Downey them. Jr. loves the watches so much that Disney themselves reached out to the brand and asked if, if he could wear the watches in the film. That's awesome. So it was a very organic collaboration, purely based on the aesthetic of the watch, yeah. Robert loving the watches, and of course it fits the Iron Man character so well, because these are very, very technical watches. Oh, big time, Most, probably the most technical we saw all day, I'd say. Huh? I'd kept it on that note. Good, day, good second day, I enjoyed it. Great second day. Yeah, we, uh, we're pretty much just chasing the sun here, so we need to wrap it up. Yeah. Um, but we've got, uh, Big day in store tomorrow, third day, and uh, yeah, looking forward to it. So let's go ahead. Stay tuned. Oh, oh I put up a two. What thought? Day three. Oh, uh, <laughs> I, went, I went. Do you know what? Do you want me to help you to count? One, two, three. We're on day two, day three's tomorrow. Got it? No, no, I'm just proud to represent the American education system right now.